The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. We are going to a club that I've never been to. Special Agent with Homeland Security Investigation. Human trafficking happens to be an important danger right now. A lot of the problems are right here in the U.S. First of all, I didn't think I was going to do it. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. It's that time of year again. We are headed to the Colombian Carnival. So Alexa and I travel to Publix to stock up on Maicena. We're going to buy cornstarch so that we can prepare ourselves for tomorrow night. I want to say the <laughs> which includes throwing stuff on each other. What is my Santa? It's a tradition in, for carnival in Barranquilla for people to throw cornstarch on each other and the whole town goes berserk and it's fun. It's really, really fun. Well, all of them? Not all tall enough are you. And now that Publix has to restock their shelves, I think we're ready. So we met two very fine gentlemen, Jean and Angelo, at a CMS event and connected with them and thought it would be real interesting to try and partner up and do some work with them with the studio we have. And they were very interested in putting together a product DVD. We're here to film Bank On It's workshop. So we attended one of their seminars and did some film work for them. Hey there, how's it how's going? going? You doing good? Good morning. Great. What we did is we did a combination of in-studio work and on the field work, and we're able to put together a very high quality video. The next one is stacking your pipeline. Stacking your pipeline means that you are working on several deals at once. That is released on DVD and is able for them to market and sell to their client base in real estate. And since we have our own production studio, one of the fun benefits that we are able to do and offer to some of our clients is this capability to produce high quality DVDs and other video projects for them from time to time. My name's Eric and I'm a white man. I've grown up in Miami, a non-white land. From my perspective, I've lived in Miami for over 20 years and I've always sort of felt like a minority down here because in Miami there aren't a lot of middle America white Anglo-Saxon people. So I get exposed to a bunch of different cultures, which is one of the perks of living in Miami. There are just so many different influences. And one of my dear friends, Miss Alexa, happens to be Colombian. In Colombia, where my family is from, we have something called El Carnaval de Barranquilla. And basically what we do there is just four intense days of serious party. The city shuts down and everybody just has fun. Granted, we are thousands of miles away from Colombia, but in Miami, there are certain ways to keep in spirit. So we went to this Colombian carnival celebration, which was an absolute blast. It was all held under this, like, um, I don't know, not tent, but structure, where there's live music playing very loudly. There are a lot of people. It's a lot of fun. It's a family environment. There's a slogan that says, Quien lo vive es quien lo goza. Who lives it is who enjoys it. A lot of people dancing, which is so much fun. And then at one point, white powder starts exploding everywhere. So one of the things that is really fun about Carnival is that not only is there a lot of dancing and drinking and fun and socializing, there's this tradition where people throw cornstarch at each other. But this year, we weren't supposed to do maicena. So we did a little bit of smuggling. I'm Colombian, what can I say? Hello, everyone. We're going to have a presentation very special of the Tropa Rondera. Also, please don't give the scene to the artists, please. 
No chin respeten. No my son, no I, I still have powder. I can't get off my shoes. So part of the Colombian tradition is to have all these dances, some of which originated with in Africa and in Europe, and just like this whole melting pot of different types of ways of dancing. One of my favorite ones is called El Mapale. Which basically is a dance of like fish and they're trying to and it's usually a man and a woman and they're trying to like I guess be coy with each other. It's really cool. Overall, I had a great time. Um, it's obviously not music I listen to quite often or ever, so it was, it's always great to be exposed to a bunch of different cultures. And this is one of the great benefits of living in a multicultural city like Miami. Hi, I'm Alexa from Welcome to the Family. And don't forget to comment, like, share. Oh yeah, and subscribe. <laughs>